Hi everyone, this is Seattle 206723 uh, here with uh, another video uh, of a flashlight in the uh, dark to shine the light on the current economic situation that we're all in. Um, the title of this video uh, is pretty obvious. You see it there on your screen 300 years to pay the U.S. debt uh, with interest. Uh, sources uh, the numbers that I use was from the uh, U.S. Debt Clock.org. Um, it's a well-respected uh, site, and those are the numbers we're going to use today. Okay, everyone's aware of, uh, first of all, that we have a uh, $14 uh, trillion dollar, uh, deficit, and, and everyone likes to flash that onto the screen and show it to you. Um, the real debt that no one talks about, and you can take a look at it for yourself, uh, at... Uh, www.usdebtclock.org um, and take a look down at the uh, bottom for the uh, unfunded liabilities and those goes that goes into the uh, hundreds of tri that goes into over a hundred trillion dollars um, totally totally mind-boggling and your eyes could gloss over um, it actually goes to uh, credit some of the information and things that come out from uh, from guys like uh, Lindsey Williams uh, statement that that this debt just can't be repaid it, it lays cretins and absolute truth to the words that he said um, I'm gonna take uh, just for this mathematical uh, uh, video and I'm gonna take a million dollars uh, a minute in cuts or printing however you wish to view it um, and I'm gonna multiply that over uh, 60 minutes in an hour uh, that's gonna come out to be 60 million dollars um, I'm gonna take that uh, 60 million dollars I took that and I multiplied it over 24 hours that came out to be over 1.4 billion a day um, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take that number uh, 1.4 billion dollars and we're going to multiply that over uh, 365 calendar days in a year that's going to come out to be 525 600 million uh, billion dollars yes uh, over 500 billion dollars uh, in a calendar year in cuts or printing however you decide to take a look at it um, that just needs to happen to start to bring it down. Um, we're going to multiply that number right there over 300 years, and we're going to come out to be 157 trillion dollars. Uh, are you uh, are you getting this? You can take out your own calculators, and you can go to uh, usdebtclock.org look at the bottom page and see the unfunded liabilities throw in the national debt and you're gonna come up with over uh, you're gonna come up with about uh, 130 trillion dollars just to cover the debt that we're creating um, we're not creating jobs um, the the, the, the unemployment rate stands at about 9.5%. Um, those are just numbers off of the people that they can track. Um, that doesn't count the uh, part-time. The people who have lost their jobs are in a part-time situation, uh, which includes a lot of people. Um, it, it, it is astounding and will keep you up w uh, late at night just looking at this um, I want everybody to zoom in and take a good look at that long big number that is what is going on you can verify this yourself by going to uh, www.usdebtclock.org uh, uh, take a look at the uh, US unfunded liabilities and it's right there for you to see um, it's just another argument for uh, why I personally um, invest in, uh, in uh, physical silver 
because this this Ponzi scheme ha is, is going to fall. Um, as more people are educated to what's going on, as they begin to realize that they have literally been split, spent into uh, oblivion, um, it's going to be a rush and a run like never before to precious metals. The key to the key to the situation is is simply this: educating others to what is actually going on so that they aren't hurt in the process of the devaluation and the eventual collapse that has to happen. These debts cannot be paid and if you can't pay your debts you have to file for the bankruptcy or simply default. And unfortunately, I believe we're going to live through it. We're going to be the generation that's going to have to have to live through this and and and, and uh, resolve it and uh, take take care of it. Um, One hundred and thirteen trillion in unfunded liabilities alone, and the clock is going up by the second. And those are just the 2011 numbers. If you go to the uh, debt clock time machine here um, on the on the screen at the website, and you click on, we're gonna make a move up, so I want you guys to see this. Cause I'm gonna go to it now. If you go to this web, if you go to this and click on it. It brings up, this is the 2011 in black there, and I want to show you the uh, unfunded liabilities uh, section there, and show you that I'm not joking. That's over $113 trillion, and that's for just 2011. You click on this little clock here, like I, I clicked on before. And you go to CBO projected for 2015, and that number start to come up. You see the U.S. debt at over national debt at just over uh, 18 trillion alone. Um, it's it's mind boggling. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on the uh, 2015 at current rates. If we just maintain the current current status quo. And I'm going to go down here to this unfunded liability section right here. That's $138 trillion. And... If they don't make any cuts and it's just the status quo, you're going to end up with an additional three trillion in our national debt. It's all it all makes the case for the numbers that I have here. These are not pie in the sky numbers. These are actual physical numbers that you can take a look, that you can actually look at, and it makes a bigger case why more than ever in this day and time you must own these you have to have them you have to go out you have to find some time some money and start investing in physical silver um, one other quick thing I want to talk about is I went out and I took the time, I'm going to set these off to the side here, move some of these, you know, I ain't going to show all my stash. I went out and I actually got the uh, new Canada, uh, one of the Canada uh, Wolves. These are beautiful coins. Uh, I got them off of APMEX.com. Uh, it's like 41 bucks. Um, 
I'm going to start my collection and hopefully the, the silver doesn't run out in Canada, which it appears to be happening. Um, not my words, my dealer's words. Uh, Canada's having a hard time keeping up with the demand. Eventually they're just going to be just like what's going on down here in the U.S. And one other quick note here. I want to show off this guy. It's the Australian, the Australian kookaburra, uh, kooka, kookaburra coin. This is a, a beautiful round, uh, 2011. This actually comes out to be 32 grams, so it's actually heavier uh, than a 31.1. And of course, it's got uh, Queen Elizabeth II on the back. It says one dollar. Uh, awesome awesome beautiful round uh, the queen I don't know about you know but I've already got 11 minutes into this video folks uh, thank you for watching please comment and tell me what you think about this number alright bye